the main problem in cultivation of fruit trees are long juvenile period alternate or poor bearing and also the poor yield so this can be overcome by grafting technique grafting is the process of inserting one portion of the plant upon another in such a way that union will be formed and the combination will continue to grow as a plant so there are different types of grafting epicatal grafting veneer grafting inarch or approach grafting so commercially for mango and sapota so inarching and approach grafting are followed so whereas for cashew epicatal grafting is followed well selection of cyan materials so you have to remove the side branches so and you have to cut the leaf and you have to keep it for another 10 to 15 days so that the buds in the axil gets sprouted so this leads to the earlier graft establishment the sign collection should be you have to do like this after this root stock has to be cut so minimum of 2 inch from the potting mixture after that we have to form a cleft for inserting the cyan material after this cyan material has to be inserted and made compact and also and at the last you have to tie it with the polythene sleeve For earlier sprouting of the buds, so we have to cover the cyan material with the polythene sleeve, and we have to keep them in the mist chamber for 15 to 20 days till all the buds get sprouted and the leaves turn into dark green color. So this is the mist chamber, so where we have to keep the sprouted material till the cyan material gets sprouted. so we have to keep the graft material and also you can observe the uh, sprouted cyan material so this is the ideal stage we have to transfer the graft material to the hardening chamber normally shear nets are used for hardening of the graft material so these are the hardened graft material which are ready for planting